Hey everyone, this is Mark from Red Arrow Industries. Today I'm going to show how you can create a pretty cool glitch effect that you can use to transition from one shot to another just by using the paint effect. So in my timeline, I'm going to add a few edits for the duration I'm wanting the effect to last on my video layers above my two shots. Because this effect can take some time to create, I'm only going to make mine last 7 frames. Then find the paint effect and drag and drop it onto the bottom layer of the new edits we created. Open the effect editor and let's start adding some of these glitch boxes. For this first layer, I'm going to change the mode to color adjust, select the rectangle tool, and draw a box anywhere on the frame. Now adjust the brightness a bit and maybe the contrast, and then make several more, each one a tiny bit different than the last. You can even change the hue and saturation to give it a different color. The key is to try and be as random as possible here. Once I'm done with these, let's move on to the next layer up. This time, I'll change the mode to darken and do the same thing, still trying to be super random with where I place my boxes. Then go another layer up, change the mode again, I'm doing lighten now, and add several more. And finally, I'll use clone for my last layer. This is where you take a section of the shot and offset it a bit to really create that glitch-like feel. And feel free to play around with more of the modes and the paint effect and see what works best for you. Okay, one frame down. Add edits on the next frame over so you save this look, then go back through each layer and reposition, resize, add, and take away boxes to basically create a new look every frame. A good tip is to start each new frame with hitting Control A to highlight every possible box and reposition all of them at the same time to give you a good start. I also like to slowly remove some of my layers to have the glitch become smaller and smaller each frame. Phew, that was exhausting. But let's see what we have. Nice. Once I'm done, I also like to make sure and collapse all these into one submaster. That way, it's not taking up so many video layers on my edit. Finally, let's add a quick glitch sound effect to finish. Perfect. Now I can save this effect for a later use, and because I made so many different layers, I can easily mix and match them up so it's different every time. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the glitch effect, feel free to comment below. And if you're looking for any more of our tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And then also check us out on our Facebook page, Red Arrow Industries, or at our website at redarrowindustries.com.